What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and my first video here on FIFA 21. I'm doing videos. I know, right? I even streamed on Friday if you missed that. Twitch.tv forward slash Giudini07. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Uh, and we'll be looking to stream sort of every Friday, possibly Saturdays, possibly Sundays. Just depends on what I'm up to really. But yeah. I'm bringing the squad builder today on a brand new inform that has just been released into this week's team of the week because I actually built a 40,000 coin squad, which is why this squad is called 40k, um, involving this player. But he's now actually got an inform card, and it is obviously Miroslav Orsic, who last year had one of the most broken cards on FIFA. When he first got released onto the market, his first inform was like 150k. Luckily enough, this FIFA it is a little bit cheaper. But yeah, I had his non-rare card in here. And then thought before I've even recorded this, because it is currently Wednesday afternoon, well, Wednesday evening at quarter past seven. Um, I thought I'd go and pick him up, chuck him into the squad, and make it about him because he just looks incredible. But let's build it. It's a 4 3 3 3, but doesn't stay like that. We will change it to a 4 2 3 1. Not so much the meta this year, but I'll give it another go. Galaxy in goal um, from RB Leipzig. Same rating as last year at 85. First owner packed him. He's only worth about 7k which is why I've still got him. 84 diving and positioning, 85 handling and 86 reflexes with 82 kicking as well, which is not too bad. Six foot three. Uh, he was a bit of a tank last year and hopefully he'll do the same again. And this year at right back, we've got ourselves Sergi Roberto because chemistry and because well, it is mainly chemistry. But yeah, he's got a pretty solid card. He's not rapid. He's only got 77, 77 pace, sorry. He's got you know good passing at 81, 78 dribbling, 77 defending, 73 physical. You know, very standard stats, four-star skills, and a three-star weak foot. You could also go with, if I just put him there, um, it probably will give away who is in CDM. But you can at right back go for this guy. Emerson, obviously from Rail, uh, Batiste. But we went for Sergio Roberto instead. In centre back is a lovely little perfect link. This squad is no links wasted. I think every squad I ever try and make is no links wasted, especially for videos, because I just have a weird thing about them. First off, we've got Turanariga. Turanar. Him. Got him. He was silver last year. And perfect links over to Nicholas Stark. Jordan, we we'll call him Jordan. 900 coins, really, really cheap. 74 defending, uh, sorry, 74 pace, 77 defending, 74 physical, six foot three. Um, yeah, it's just a bit, it's just a bit of a tank, really. I bought him with a guardian on to boost up his uh, defending and physical, but it's not a bad card. Is you know, stat wise for a 75 rated card, isn't too bad. And obviously, you can say perfect thing over to Nicholas Stark. 75 pace, 77 defending, 75 physical. Again, 850 coins, so he's really cheap. Six foot three as well. Um, yeah, his stamina is a bit low. But he should be doing all right. The defending this year is really hard. And it's just, it's working out whether you need a pacey defender or you need a good defender. Like, what would be better to use? A Nicholas Stark, who's got good pace, but not particularly good defending. Or someone like Thiago Silva, who's got no, he's got really poor pace at 58, but he's got really good defending. It's just trying to figure it out this year and how it works. A left back saying about Thiago Silva, we have got his teammate in form, Ben Chilwa, who did get the inform this team of the week for his goal and an assist in the 4 0 win over Crystal Palace. 80 pace, 80 defending, 81 dribbling, and 78 passing and physical. 5 foot 10, high, high work rates, free star, free star, and mainly went for Chilwell. You get a strong link to the midfielder. And his inform has actually come at a really good time because I've recorded this video. And he is not expensive at all. Like I said, quarter past seven, 38 and a half K for an English left back from Chelsea. Not too bad, not too bad. He's got 91 stamina, which I didn't actually realize. 83 reactions, 84 ball control, passing's all right. Uh, stand and start tackle at 82 and 85 respectively. Crossing at 82 as well, jumping at 85. So back post headers are a thing again this year. Chilwa might be a bit of a beast to uh, to go and pick up. CDM to get the strong link over to him is Matteo Kovacic, and you saw the other midfielder there who actually does go to central cam. It is Philippe Coutinho, but we'll we'll start off with with Kovacic. 75 pace, 87 dribbling, uh, 69 shooting and defending, double giggity. 83 pace, uh, 83 passing even, and 70 physical. Four star, four star, five foot nine, high high work rates. His like he was Chelsea's best player last year. How he hasn't got more of an upgrade, I don't know. But his team of the season last year was 
phenomenal. It was a fantastic centre mid card, and I feel, feel like it's going to be the same again. High high work rate, dribbling is, is incredible. 90 short pass and 82 long pass is pinpoint accuracy, and the rest of the stats just look very very solid. And it doesn't really matter because the man that's playing centre mid, who we'll get into in a minute. Will be the defensive man. Coutinho is playing the cam roll. 72 plates, 88 dribbling, 79 shooting, and 82 passing. He's gone from an 86 down to an 83 from a left wing to a cam, which is really nice. He's still got his five star skills and he's got four star weak foot. He's 18,000 coins of what I paid for him. And if I have a currently look on the market on for it being, because I bought this before uh, Tuesday, he's 11k, so I've lost a little bit of money on him. But that doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter because it's video purposes. Centre mid who will play at CDM alongside uh, Kovacic is Marcelo Brozovic. 63 pace, so Kovacic is going to be the pacey one. But then Brozovic has got himself 79 defending, 78 physical, and 80 passing, as well as 74 shooting and 81 dribbling. Medium high work rates, four star weak foot, three star skills. Again, 94 stamina. This man is going to boss the midfield. He's got good passing as well, so I can see passing from the back going to be very, very strong. 84 long shots as well. Hoping for a couple of bangers. Right winger is the only non rare card in the entire team, but it's either him or Messi or Rodrigo, who I think is left, uh, is right footed. And I like to have a left footed winger if I'm right to say that Rodrigo is the only one there. And he's right footed, yeah. So we have gone for uh, Crystal Palace. Barcelona's a brand new young signing, Francisco Trincao. Uh, 79 pace, 83 dribbling, 73 shooting, 71 passing, four star skills, and a three star week for just a standard 70 rated non rare card. Nothing too fabulous about him except for some good agility, good ball control. Uh, but he's mainly there for chemistry, and I can't afford Messi, and I don't have a loan one. So. Let's be serious. Uh, striker is not a Brazilian concept. It is the, where is he, 79 rated? Yep, 79 rated Anton Rebic, or Ante Rebic. 88 pace, 80 shooting, and 80 physical. 79 dribbling, and 70 passing. Six foot one, four star, four star. This guy just looks like a quality, quality striker. 81 strength and 84 aggression is brilliant. 85 shot power, he's gonna break the net. 91 sprint speed. He's good once he gets going. He's going to be hard to catch up to. But he just looks like a really solid starter card that you probably would see in a lot of uh, in a lot of uh, squads pretty early on in FIFA. Obviously, like I say, this is not, the full game's not even been released, so the people that can't afford the game, or they're young, or they're not getting it until their birthday or Christmas, you know, he's going to be one of those strikers that people are going to go to. Uh, and by the time that probably happens, Miss Lavorsic is not going to be 34K, it'll probably be about 10. Uh, and the stats you're getting for that is phenomenal 94 pace 82 dribbling and 84 shooting high high work rates 5 foot 10 3 star skills 4 star weak foot 84 stamina 93 agility 90 balance 82 dribbling and composure finishing 83 shot power 86 apologies about that i have a timer 85 long shots just his card looks phenomenal 86 curve like this guy just looks fantastic 4 2 3 1 is what we're going to be playing in division 2 yeah division 2 I won all five placement games, somehow, I don't know. I feel like a bit of a madman doing this, but we're gonna put Coutinho down the middle, Trincao on the right, Orsic on the left, and obviously we'll have Ante Rebic up front leading the line. Let's jump into a couple of games, and I'll see how we do. Right, boys, what I quickly thought I'd do, quick, before we, quickly before we jump in again, quickly, quickly, say it more than once, and this is what I've kind of been going with in terms of t tactics for this FIFA. Obviously, it's so hard to defend, so, I've gone drop back, 4 depth, 4 width, and it's not done too badly. Fast build up, uh, 7 width, 7 depth, and then I uh, actually haven't reduced these two. Just don't do 3. Uh, because fast build up, it's been very, it's very pass and move kind of kind of way of going. Obviously, like I say, 4, 2, 3, 1. We'll have Rebic stay, stay central, get behind, because he's got the pace. All three uh, cams on stay forward. The centre cam on stay on the edge of the box, and then the two wingers can get in. Both DMs on when I can get there. Man mark, stay back while attacking. Leave them on cover wing because, like, I don't want to just sort of send, like, keep them in the centre. Be nice for them to free roam. And then obviously fullbacks on stay back while attacking. Standard because I think that's going to be needed this year. Thought I'd show you before we jump into a couple of games. Let's go. It is a good thing that I am, like, 12,000 points in, you know, rank one because it feels like a silly idea. As shown by the team we're coming up against, Rashford, Aubameyang, and Lucas as his front three. Pogba, Inform Fernandez, very jealous of that. 
and uh, and then Bele. He's got Trent, Tamori, Rudiger, Reguilon, and I think he had Rui Patrizio in goal. Very solid. Uh, but then again, I've come up against really good teams and beat them this year, and played against really b bad teams and got battered. So it's going to be interesting to see. I'm just more interested how Warsic plays because I may end up just keeping him. Straight away, both in forms, linking up. Very nice pass there. Orsic drops in through to Rebic. Rebic. Not bad. Not bad. Headers are back. Headers are back. Coutinho with the ball in. Jordan with the header on the end. Lovely. 1 0 in 5 minutes. Oh, Rebic has picked up the ball here. Coutinho smashed that. Oh, unlucky. Still got the ball. Still got the ball. Rebic. Through to Orsic. Finesse that. Hit on his left. <clears throat> and that was a bad pass. Oh, he's through. With Aubameyang. He's at the post. Oh, he's got a rebound. Oh, he's offside. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Uh, oh, that's tight. Oh, the ball's still on. I thought the ball had gone off. Oh, that was close. Chip, I've heard free kicks are easier to score this year. I haven't witnessed that yet myself, but... Oh, he's put through Bruno. I'm screwed. Galaxy, what a save. Oh, should have, he should have buried that. Absolutely buried that. Trincao. Trincao with the header. Nice. Coutinho with a 72 pace. What's he going to do? Ah, oh, okay, I'm gonna give it away, that's what I'm gonna do. These balls out wide, I am I am exploiting the fact that Trent Alexander Arnold is nowhere. Trinkel, nice, 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 through to Coutinho. Low driven. 2-0. Come on! That was a really, really nice bit of counter-attack football. Started by a long pass by Nicholas Stark. Very, very nice. Ah, header for header. Aubameyang rises like a salmon and puts the ball past Galaxy. 2-1 still, but dangerous. Oh, Trinkhouse walked past. He's walked past. All right, okay. We'll take that. That was easy. I, could, I understand defending is well hard this year, but that was too easy. Too easy. Oh, look at the pace. The pace from Orsic and the finish. 4-1 in 37 minutes. What a pass from Coutinho. What a run from Orsic. Got a bit lucky that the keeper let the ball in. But still, absolutely class. Oh, that was bad defending from me. I pulled Jordan out of space. And Aubameyang will punish. 4-2 in the first half. High scoring. Oh, what a pass through to Aubameyang. This is going to be 4-3. Yeah, it's 4-3. He's pulled it back like that straight away from 4-1 to 4-3. This game this year is so counter-attack heavy. It's mad. One thing I will complain about this game is every single added time is one minute. But the referee will always play to 4 or 5. 3 or 4 even. It's annoying. However, stat-wise... It's interesting. It's interesting. We've had more shots. Seven, eight, that's six. Obviously, we've had one more on target as well. Six to four. Possession a little bit in his favour. And passing very decent. Eighty-four to eighty-nine uh, in his favour. Eighty-nine he's got. Um, four, three at half time. Can't see it staying like that. Uh, very end to end. I just got to tighten up on the defending a little bit because Aubameyang is exploiting the uh, the low rated centre backs. Ravage has done him there. Absolutely done him. Oh, that was weird. I'm leaving that entire thing in because that was weird. That was a very weird experience. 
Oh, Ben Chilwell. What a block. I'm considering keeping him. I know he's probably going to crash in price because one to watch promo comes on Friday, but I'm keeping him. Ah, oh, Coutinho, nice. What a finish. Mate, the keeper weren't moving. Let's do my favourite. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh. Yeah, what a goal. Oh, Bamian's through. Oh, how he hasn't scored, I don't know. Oh, I've given the ball away as well. Nicholas Stark is a hero, mate. He's a hero. Oh, Orsic, mate. He just skips. Onto his right. Onto that curve. Oh, he's at the post. Coutinho hat trick, though. I will take that. Ah, passing across this year is very, very, very strong. Like last year when you'd run to the touchline, pass it back across. It's very similar. Like, it's very, very overpowered. Couldn't really do anything about that. So another thing that's really overpowered this year is chips. This game is mental. 6-5. Aubameyang is just... I'm unable to control him. I, it is impossible. 88 minutes gone. He's got to hold out for this, like for the win. But Aubameyang is just insane. Um, leave it for a minute. I'll do it in two sets. Hold on. 6-5. Chilwell was a beast. I don't see how in any way, shape or form Coutinho got man of the match. Yeah, definitely didn't. Aubameyang did. Three goals for Coutinho, one for Rebic, one for Orsic, two assists for Trinko and Coutinho, one for Rebic, one for Orsic. Fantastic performance, really enjoyed that team. Let's do one more game and see how that goes. Well, that took an age, it kept disconnecting from my opponent. That was irritating. Right, this guy has got Neymar. Oh, that's a really, really mad team. Considering the fact that it doesn't look incredible, that is a really, really nice team. Keita and Depay up front, Adama, Neymar, Odrisha Gonagay. And uh, Alba, he has Bellerin, he has Alaba, obviously now moved to a centre back. Lucas um, Hernandez, Alfonso Davies, who I've used, and I know he's incredible. This team is a bit, bit crazy. What's more annoying as well is this guy is really good in the first four minutes, so I haven't got the ball off him. I haven't touched it. Ah, oh, can't wait for this, this is going to be well fun. This guy strikes me as the sort of person who will go to Tesco and will buy a meal deal. And will buy ham, buy a bottle of water, and will buy a fruit pot. Because his FIFA style is so boring. He got into the box to cut it back and went all the way to the outside of the box and started dribbling in a circle. Like, just you could have easily scored. You could have put the ball in the back of the net so much easier. Um, I don't deserve to be 2 0 down. Yeah, all he, like, this guy's good at holding the ball, but that's it. That is what he's good at, is holding the ball. And that's it, really. Like, man, annoyed to be 2 0 down, especially with that goal, because it was, it was rubbish. Look at the possession 68 to 32. That's a lovely goal. That is what you call a FIFA goal. Lovely pass and movement. Great finish from Ravage. Yeah, fully deserved. Fully deserved. It should be a, a level, level playing field, but oh well. Mate, look at this from Orsic. Oh, that should have been two all. That was just a bit of brilliant play. Half time. That half felt a little bit. A little bit quick because. Look at the stats. He's just hold, held the ball. And more or less just let him sort of hold the ball on the edge of my third of the box. A third of the pitch stroke because he hasn't really done anything with it. He's had three shots. Two of them were goals, and one of them was a rebound that started off like they got in the second goal. That's it, really. And, yeah. Just, meh. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, the work from Orsic. He is so good. Orsic to trink out. Trink out of a couple of ding cups. Oh.
And look, you'd expect him to go and do counter-attack because that's what everyone sort of does on this FIFA. No, he just does it really slowly. That's good. He's opened up his body. That's a goal. That's a, that, that is like the most non-thing he's, he's done. That was a very good goal. I, I can't really complain about that. Oh, that was a poor pass. Uh, that's a goal. Like, this guy is clearly very, very good at the game. But he's very, very good at the worst style of FIFA. Like, he's the style that no one likes to play against. Because not many FIFA players have this attention span to do the slow, methodical style of football unless you're a pro player. I mean, it's 5-1. Like, I... I anticipate that I was going to lose this, tip, this game straight away. Not only because he had Neymar, because he had Depay, he had a good team, but like from the off, I couldn't get the ball from him. And I'll admit it, I'm a bit of a hot-headed FIFA player. I'm the sort of person that will get really, really irritated. I'm actually quite impressed I haven't slid him. But yeah, I just anticipated losing this straight away. He's not even that good of a defender, that's the thing. Like, he's very good at attacking. He hasn't really had to defend against me because I haven't got the ball off him. There's nothing I can do about this sort of thing. He's a very, very good attacker. It's one of those things where it's going to be like... He's going to drag back. I put a foot in and give away a penalty. Or I... You know, I get done. And I've been done in this game. And that's that's the weird beauty about uh, about this game at the minute is you're going to get people that don't deserve to be in Division 2. Me. But are somehow in there. And then you get people that do deserve to be in Division 2. This guy. Because he's a lot better than I am. Oh, he's rode the challenge somehow. Orsic should have scored that. Should have scored that. However, I don't score. I don't know. Unfortunately, we lose 6-1. But like I said, I'll probably do I don't really deserve to be in Division 2. I somehow am in Division 2. I don't know how. But, yeah. He went 4 2 3 one played Neymar down the middle, of course. Um, actually, did Trioré do anything? No, he didn't. Yeah, I've noticed this year, Trioré's not very good. Like, he's got such bad shooting and passing. He's just got really good pace. Yeah, that's, that's a little really, done not it? Right, now for the all-important bit, my opinion of the squad and the players. Four, two centre-backs that are very, very cheap at 908, 150 coins. They are actually pretty decent. You can tell that they are low-rated because they got caught quite a few times. Aubameyang scoring four goals and losing 6-1. A couple of those guys weren't really the centre-backs full. But the cheap players, they ain't bad. Like, Stark's always been quite good. Turinariga... Jordan is obviously a new gold card this year. He was in 71 non-rare silver last year. Yeah, he's pretty decent. Galaxy is a pretty decent as good as he was last year. Roberto, I didn't like him. I didn't. I found him out of position quite a lot. Um, Chilwell, I really enjoy Chilwell. I am going to keep him. Uh, he's 38.50. I think he's like 39k on the market. I'm going to keep him. He's going to drop now or on Friday when One to Watch comes out. I might wait until One to Watch comes out because everyone gets a... Deadline day pack, and I could get him, which would be really good. Uh, Covington and Brozovic were okay. Uh, nothing really to shout about. Coutinho was really fun. Three goals, two assists in the two games. Um, Trincao, not bad for a non rare. He got three assists in two games. Uh, Rebic, again, really cheap striker. Quite fun. Two goals and one assist. But the main man, Mislav Orsic. He is rapid. His dribbling is really, really good. He is wasted at left wing. He was not involved enough in the game, but I don't know if that was because the way I set up or because of the tactics I used but he was really really good when he was on the ball really quick really hard to get off the ball I would I would definitely recommend using him for um, a super sub 100% uh, because you have to go Croatian or icons around him and what is today the 7th of September uh, 7th of what is it 7th of the 7th of October no one's gonna have enough money who's gonna want to also it's just gonna be us surrounding with icons are they um, but yeah, he's really, really fun. I would recommend giving him a try. Same with Chilwell and the same with Coutinho if you haven't. But that has been the video, guys. I hope you have all enjoyed. As always, links down to Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch in the description below. Go down there, drop me a follow. 
on all of them. Drop a like, drop a sub if you're in the rooms here, and don't forget to press the bell button as well to get notified every single time we do upload. I'm also going to leave a link in the description to the graphics guy who has done my thumbnails for me. Not only is he a really good GFX uh, guy, he's a really good YouTuber. I'll leave his link to his channel in the description below. But yeah, till next time, guys, have an awesome one. I shall see you all later. A little bit of light, a little bit of gold Under pressure you start to fold Like a diamond